Greetings metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today we have yet another instalment of Bands You Need To Hear. So essentially this is a recommendation of a band. If you're not familiar with them, you really need to check them out. It's well worth your time. So today we're going with, I'm going to describe them as an old school death metal band uh, or just traditional death metal. Without all of the crazy technicality and bells and whistles that a lot of modern death metal bands have. But they're a death metal band formed in around 2015, I believe, from uh, the Birmingham or West Midlands area of England, here in the UK. And they are a band that have not just blown my mind numerous times, but they have change the course of my musical taste really and I will elaborate slightly on that in a moment but I am talking about the mighty Memoriam. So if you're not familiar with Memoriam they are a band that is comprised of veterans of the old school death metal world. On the vocals there on the front man is Mr Carl Willits formerly of one of the greatest death metal bands of all times, the Mighty Bolt Thrower. Um, and for the duration of the first three albums, we had here For the Fallen, The Silent Vigil, and we have here Requiem for Mankind. He was also joined by Mr. Andy Whale on drums, also formerly of Bolt Thrower. Uh, but has since stepped down, I believe, due to health reason. And on the latest album and an upcoming album, I've um, got To The End here from 2021, he has been replaced by Mr. Spiky T. Smith. We've also got Scott Fairfax on guitars, a fantastic guitarist of countless projects and lots of different bands involvement and then uh, Frank Healy formerly of Benediction on bass. So these guys they're no they're no newbies, they're no strangers to good old death metal. They've they've been around the block, they've done it and they've been involved with some of the the biggest and best material of the subgenre. So what is so special about Memoriam? Well, for me, they were the band that got me into what I would call old school death metal. They weren't the first old school death metal band that I heard, but at the time um, of this album, the debut album's release in 2017, this is For the Fallen, that amazing uh, Dan Seagrave artwork there, absolutely love it. Around that time, I was very heavily into technical, brutal, slam death metal, the really extreme stuff. And also, ironically, at the same time, I was also quite big into metalcore, mainly because of the crushing breakdowns. So if it had thunderous slams and groove and chug, if it was really extreme, I used to really quite like all the crazy technical stuff, the widdly diddly, as I now call it. But I remember one day, and I was, I was young then, but one day, on YouTube seeing, uh, I, I believe it was the music video coming up as a recommendation for a track from this debut album entitled Surrounded by Death. I thought, well, I think it had a little tank on the icon or something like that. And I thought, okay, nuclear blast. Yeah, let's see what this is all about. I was very dismissive of the older and less extreme death metal bands. Um, I, I, I did listen to some old school death metal bands, but mainly the likes of bands like Sinister or Cannibal Corpse, Six Feet Under, that sort of thing. But I heard that song, Surrounded by Death, and it that was it. I absolutely loved it. The groove, the rhythm, the guitar work. It was from there that I was hooked. That's all that it took. And... A lot of that crazy technical stuff that I was listening to in Slam, the likes of bands like Cranium and um, Die Art is Murder, Slamophiliac, Diphenylchloroarsine, all these crazy technical bands I, I really have not listened to since, I don't think. From Memoriam, it was straight on to 
bolt thrower and uh, straight into S-Fix, Autopsy and although some of these bands I was familiar with and did like a little bit of, it was, it was full on. I, I wanted that amazing chugging groove. So these guys have been a favourite of mine ever since and I don't know if you can see there but it's quite difficult to actually get the camera angle there but I have their Hellfire demo cover um, logo tattooed on my arm. Weird, you have to be a contortionist just to show it to the camera. But um, back to Memoriam. This is the debut album. I would not say that this is a particularly extreme album, but we've got some brilliant musicianship here. We've got some fantastic musicianship, and Carl Willits does a less aggressive vocal performance than he did even on um, the last Bolt Thrower album for Those Once Loyal, which is a fantastic album. But this album, we get some brilliant, brilliant songs here. It's just the brilliance of the song structuring and the song writing. So you take the intro piece, Memoriam, which is, it's a short, about two minutes sort of intro piece, but we've got a killer chugging riff there. Lurches straight into War Rages On, an absolute belter. And we've got Reduced to Zero. That's another fantastic song, almost doomier elements there. Corrupted System, which is far more punk and a little bit grind at times, um, certainly uh, in its ethic anyway, much more punk in its nature and delivery. That riff, is that's a bona fide punk riff. Flatline, great heavy song, that fantastic surrounded by death with that absolutely killer riff, courtesy of Mr. Fairfax there, absolutely brilliant. Resistance, another heavy, groovy death metal song. And the closing track is an epic, last words about those uh, fallen soldiers out there on the front lines of the First World War, out in the trenches. A brilliant track. A fantastic, fantastic album. I absolutely love this. But I will note, and we'll come back to this later on, the album is produced by Ayat or Ajit Gill. A name I'm not familiar with. But then one year later, we have, in 2018, Memoriam releasing the second album, The Silent Vigil. Now, for me, this album, I didn't connect with it straight away like I did with For the Fallen. But as I have listened to it more regularly uh, over the last few weeks as I've been preparing to do this particular episode, this album has really grown on me. The album has several differences. One being that it is produced by John Dewsbury and James Pitts. Important to note there we've got another different producer. So for me I certainly initially felt that the production here was really muddy and quite primitive. That's when I first heard it. Now I can kind of understand that it sounds far harsher and it sounds a little bit rougher. It doesn't sound as clean and polished, but it, it does sound in its own way. It's got its own magic. It's certainly a lot more honest. You know, they're not using all the bells and whistles of the, uh, of the studio, polishing it up to make it sound absolutely gleamingly special. But you know what? It's got its own charm, its own unique charm. Tracks like Soulless Parasite and Nothing Remains, they are solid death metal tracks heavier than the material of that first album, but that first album is no less wonderful. From the Flames, a brilliant track there, really love that one. Bleed the Same, which was one of the lead singles, I believe, has some killer riff work and some fantastic vocal work throughout, to be honest, from uh, Mr. Carl Willits. Uh, the New Dark Ages, another fantastic track. Personal favorite for me, I really do enjoy uh, No Known Grave. That's a fantastic song. And the very punk aggressive weaponized fear that we've got at the end of the album there. Some fantastic material. Overall, it's a lot more, shall we say, a lot heavier, but a lot more involved, and there's a lot more progressive elements compared to the first album. It's a brilliant album in its own way. I just didn't quite connect with it the first time round or the early time round that I have subsequently, but 
certainly didn't enjoy it as much as I did that first album, but it's grown on me ever since. One year later, 2019, we have the absolutely fantastic Requiem for Mankind. Now this album is produced by Russ Russell, as is the subsequent album to the end and the upcoming album, I believe. And the production is magnificent. It sounds like a different band. You can tell from the material on this album that although they have released some great tracks on those two superb albums in my opinion they have really grown really developed the song structuring is a lot it's a lot different the deliveries is very different they have grown a lot in other words the experience is built and what they deliver here is a solid all-round brilliant death metal album kicking off the album with shell shock and undefeated killer riffs so much groove uh, never the victim another brilliant song Austerity Kills, that is a great moment. Some almost doomier progressive parts there. Really good stuff. In the midst of desolation, refuse to be led. You've got all this punk attitude here as well. Personal favourite for me is The Veteran. Such a killer, heavy, chugging riff that we get there. Requiem for Mankind and Fixed Bayonets. All brilliant stuff. Really brilliant. Personal highlights for me from this album. Undefeated. In the midst of Desolation and The Veteran. They're my personal favourites. And it's an absolutely killer, killer album. Really cannot overstate how good that is. Two years later, that's an absolutely unheard of delay for Memoriam, releasing three albums in three years. But in a six year period, they will have released five albums so that is that's really good between 2017 and 2023 in those years you've got five albums that's amazing certainly when bolt throwers uh, rate of release was a hell of a lot slower but then we've got to the end from 2021 another fantastic album so much progression between these two albums requiem for mankind and to the end over just a couple of years it sounds like a completely reinvigorated band. I have to say that um, Spikey Smith's drumming is fantastic and he really does add a different dynamic to the band at this point. They sound brilliant. They sound hungry. Certainly on opening track Onwards Into Battle, which is freaking heavy. It's a great groovy chugging riff there. This war is one heavy. It's also a lot, there's a lot more depth here. The production is fantastic, but there's a lot more atmospherics and a lot more depth. No effect, fantastic song. Personal favourites for me though, we have Each Step One Close to the Grave, which is more of an Asphyx style Death Doom track. A superb song. Um, to the End, another absolutely fantastic song. I would also probably actually go back and say No Effect because it has one of the heaviest, most crushing riffs of this whole album. Vacant Stare is a very interesting song. It's dark, it's heavy, it's good old death. Mass Psychosis is even more interesting and weird because it's like a strange industrial grindcore song. It's, it's very odd and very unsettling. As My Heart Grows, Cro Grows Cold rather is another very good song, it's beautifully well written, and it's just a great, great memoriam moment. So this album, I'm not going to say it's my favourite, but it's it's certainly, I'd say definitely, the, uh, the best structured and composed of all their material. All of their albums have their own unique charm, but I think this album, this is next level stuff. This is such a massive progression. Although I'd, I'd still say my personal favourite is that debut album for The Fallen because it is just sentimental to me, but also it's it's just a great raw death metal album. So there you have it. If you like bands such as Bolt Thrower and Benediction, or if you like um, Bloodbath, Autopsy, Morbid Angel, if you just like good old death metal, if you like really well written extreme metal then memoriam are a band that you absolutely need to hear check these albums out 
certainly check out War Rages On and Surrounded by Death from this particular album for The Fallen. Check out From the Flames and As the Bridges Burn from Silent Vigil, Undefeated and The Veteran, brilliant tracks from Requiem. And just basically anything from this album, but No Effect and Onwards Into Battle. Check out those tracks. Absolutely superb stuff if you love good old extreme metal. What do you think of Memoriam? Are you a fan? If you are, then no doubt you're extremely excited, as I am, for the upcoming album Rise to Power, which comes out, I believe, in a couple of weeks' time, end of January, maybe early February. Have to double check that. But I thought with that upcoming album coming out, this is probably quite a... Uh, an appropriate time to recommend these these guys to you because they're a freaking amazing band if you've never heard of them really i implore you to check them out they are a brilliant brilliant band thanks for watching my friends feel free to comment feel free to like and subscribe do check back soon for more reviews and more recommendations of all things good and heavy but take care my friends and as always stay heavy